UM was founded 150 years ago by the Bavarian famous King Ludwig II. He was also famous for the building of his castles like Neuschwanstein, but he also was interested in scientific work and therefore he founded the Technical University of Munich to get a kind of industrialization in, in Bavaria. We have around about 40,000 students in different fields. That's our department where we are working for in the civil engineering. We are here at the Institute of Road, Railway and Airfield Construction. Our institute is connected with the development of pre-stressed concrete sleepers, the lateral track stability, which is a huge topic, and with the development of slab tracks or ballastless track. The overrail ballastless track system is an innovative solution that minimizes any impact on rail traffic. We achieve this by installing temporary slab track underpinned by mechanical devices that transfer the workload to the infrastructure. At the Technical University of Munich Laboratories, we conducted a series of tests on our system, taking into account various working situations. We do a lot of tests to develop new elements in the track, rail fastening systems, lab track systems, even ballastless track systems, research work to make uh, yeah, a circle from the theory to tests in the laboratory to the tests in service lines. We plan specific tests aimed at vertical, transversal, longitudinal workloads during the installation phase with the adoption of six provisional devices. In this configuration, the slab track underpinned by six spindles support railway workloads like approaching track lane machines. Similar tests have been carried out to reactivate rail traffic when slab track is underpinned by 14 provisional devices. In this case, we perform further dynamic tests to verify the stability of the system and also to verify that on-site casting during the concrete curing stage is unaffected by changes in performance and durability due to the dynamic effects of rail traffic. We make some measurements in tracks, deflections, accelerations, we're doing some measurements in noise and vibration, mutation, we make some measurements in the laboratory and we're doing some uh, scientific work with uh, special models. The system was then tested in its final configuration, 48 hours after on-site casting, with repeated dynamic loads, 5 million cycles, over the course of 23 days. Our test involved two types of cycles. One cycle applying the load in the middle of the slab, and the other in the transition between two slabs. is part of a larger Salch Group project to create a track lane machine for high performance installation solution in terms of speed, reliability and safety. Mm -hmm.